batters get another in-state commitment from a defensive lineman last week, Connor Sheehy of Milwaukee Marquette. I'm Adam Mertz, Wisconsin State Journal. You're joined today by Benjamin Wargo of Badger Nation, badgernation.com. Want to discuss this a little bit. The Badgers have been on a roll, really stockpiling defensive linemen. Sheep out of the 2014 class. Tell me where he fits in with the other people they've brought on board. Well, already a good start to 2014 for Wisconsin. They got two offensive linemen, a quarterback, and now a defensive lineman. Sheehy is at a defensive end right now, certainly can bulk up and be a defensive tackle down the road. I mean, he can be in that 280, 290 range. When I watch him play, it reminds me a lot of Bo Allen, a young Bo Allen who came in and played right away. Just has that flexibility, that versatility, that that mobileness that he can do. And that's really has come from him playing the defensive end position. And he's already been elected a captain as a junior that I don't think that's ever happened in the history of Milwaukee Marquette mm. and they've had some really good players the last couple of years just won the state championship a few years ago here over Menominee Falls what I like about Sheehy is that he's just a worker and he's just one of those blue collar guys that you really like to have on your team great characteristics about him has comes from a great family already had an offer from Michigan mm-hmm. early in the process Michigan doesn't really extend too many out-of-state offers to high school juniors Notre Dame was looking at him, Northwestern, Michigan State. Uh, big pickup for Wisconsin, an unexpected pickup this early for him in his recruiting process. You mentioned, have you written about on, on BatcherNation.com, that the facilities played a key role, or at least Brett Bielema expressed that the facility upgrade they're making here played a key role in this decision. Yeah, he, he loved the direction Wisconsin's going with their facilities, obviously playing at Camp Randall and all the renovations the stadium has made. The success Wisconsin's had over the last couple of years under Brett Bielema, a lot of things went into this decision for him, especially playing close to home. And I think with kids that grow up in the Wisconsin area, seeing this team over the last 10, 15 years be successful plays a huge part in them making their decision. You had a chance last Friday night to see Craig Evans from Sun Prairie, who's a guy who's attracted a lot of attention around the country, and the Badgers are on his list. Tell me what you saw out of him and where you think he is at in the decision-making process at this point. Uh, he's a big body. I mean, the, the program lists him at 350, but he says he's about 325 to 330. and looks every bit of that. I mean, it's hard to really get a gauge on a kid when all Janesville Craig did was run away from him. I mean, Craig lost 45 to 7, and they never really ran at him at all. I mean, quick drops, just, just different things, just so Evans wouldn't get a lot of pressure and penetration mm-hmm. in the backfield. At one point, three offensive linemen were blocking him, so you <laughs> kind of know that this kid commands some attention. You know, he has offers from Pittsburgh, Nebraska, Wisconsin, and uh, Michigan State, but he also says that he's been hearing from Georgia, Texas, Oklahoma, uh, Ohio State, NC State, UCLA. So he's becoming kind of that national recruit, and he's getting interest from Southern schools because he did grow up in Mississippi, so he's not pigeonholed like the Wisconsin kids are to really follow the Badgers. He said he didn't have a school growing up that he really followed. He said he's favoring Wisconsin at this point. He still wants to kind of go through his junior year and maybe make a decision in the in the winter. He says that he just really wants to, to see more schools, get more opportunities. He said he wants to improve his, his game more, too. He says that might open up some opportunities. Mm-hmm. I feel that he's going to be a Wisconsin commit in the future. He's very good friends with Jaden Galt from Monona Grove. Mm-hmm. They play AAU basketball together. I just think he, he just wants to experience the recruiting process while some of these other kids just want to get out of the way early. And uh, he, we had a nice story on him in the State Journal a few weeks ago by Nick Sunderland Saeed just talking about his upbringing. I mean, it's a kid who, uh, you know, was essentially homeless for a while and, and was brought up to Wisconsin uh, at the suggestion of his brother and, and really seems to have found a nice home there in Sun Prairie, kind of bigger than football. Yeah, and his brother, is too, I believe, is playing basketball in Argentina. And so, I mean, they're a family that really has a lot of different exposures in different areas. Uh, Evans, too, I mean, he's, he's a very nice kid when you talk to him. He's very humble. He's not one of those kids that really gets too wrapped up in himself. He obviously is a little frustrated, too, that he doesn't make more plays. He says, as a Division One athlete, I expect more of myself. But he does have that drive and that will and want to be better. And I, I think that's when you, when you recruit a kid and you see a kid that's always striving to, to improve his game, uh, you, you know you found a pretty good guy. Big news this week in the coaching staff for the Badgers with Brett Bielma letting go, Mike Marcus, an offensive line coach, after two games. You knew it was going to be a tough transition from uh, Bob Bostad, who did a great job here, a real technique hound, and got after guys. Um, I'm wondering from your perspective, what does this do on, on recruiting? Is there any impact on recruiting when you make a sudden change like this? Well, you look at Wisconsin's five verbal commits for 2013 and 2014. In 2013, you have you know, Matt Miller, you have Hayden Beagle, and you have Jack Keeler. 
and then for 2014 you have George Panos and Jaden Galt. And all five of these guys said they have committed to Wisconsin because of the tradition of the program and the direction it's going. None of them really mentioned with the offensive line coach or the coaching staff. Obviously the coaching staff is a key part of it, but they're more focused on the tradition. So I would say those five are all solid to Wisconsin. The one kid you really kind of have to wonder about is Jake Meter, who's on campus now as a true freshman. Once committed to Ole Miss, where Mike Markinson was, he came to Wisconsin based on the relationship he had formed with Markinson. And he also kind of liked, you know, the facilities and everything else. Mm-hmm. Wisconsin was involved. But, you know, Markinson certainly played a role in bringing him up here. You have to wonder now what's Meter's kind of mindset going forward. I imagine he'll stay just because of the relationship he's built. But you have to kind of feel bad for the kid who came up here because a big part of that offensive line coach. Benjamin Wargo, BadgerNation.com. Thanks for your insight again on recruiting this week.